Hello guys, welcome to my SAS and Advanced CSS course. This course will give you knowledge that allows you develop modern and beautiful websites. We'll be using newest technologies and solutions. But let me first show you this app that we are going to make. It will be a homepage for a guitar company called Guitar World. It will have, will have this nice looking background and also this amazing call to action button. We are going to make a menu that will cover our entire page. Then we will have these four cards that describes our company and this beautiful image gallery fully created with CSS grid. And at the end, this nice looking footer. We will cover such topics like NPM, the node package manager. We'll learn how to use the command line and how to use npm commands to get SAS to convert our SAS code to a CSS code. Then we'll learn how to use BEM methodology, the block element and modifier, to use our SAS properly to have a nice and clear SAS files. Then we'll learn the basics about SAS, how to use it, about the nested selectors and more about this topic. After that, we'll use some advanced CSS features like animations, like Flexbox and CSS grids. And also after this course, you'll be fully able to use pseudo elements with no problem with that. The last thing that we are going to do is to make this page responsive with the responsive web design with these media queries to make it look really good on a mobile devices. Okay, so let's get started with this project. First, what you need is the Node.js with the Node Package Manager because we'll need to convert our SAS code to a CSS code because the browser only understand CSS. It is not capa capable of generating web pages based on SAS. So first of all, let's just type Node.js in the Google and the first page will have a direct link to download the version for your system. It will take a while. I will be back if it's finished. So I've already got that. You can just tap on this to install with this wizard. It will have to wait a little bit. It's standard installation, nothing special. Okay, so now quickly next, accept the license, select your path to install the Node.js here you can leave it like that and install with administrator permissions. Wait a second. And when it's finished, you can jump into the Visual Studio Code. I'm using this IDE because uh, I found it the best. I've also got the extension with the material icon theme. If you know about that, it looks really cool. So first of all, we can use the Visual Studio Code terminal to run our first command. You can use npm init to create these node modules, this package JSON. And with that, you can import the node modules that are necessary. Let's run this command. If you have installed Node.js, everything will work. First of all, we will get asked what the package name. Guitar World, I think it is cool. The version 1.0, description, uh, Guitar World company page, entry point index.js, I think it is okay. We don't need test and we don't need to add the 
git repository, keywords also nothing, all four. We don't need that, the license. And we can check now if everything's okay. If so, let's quickly add, click enter. And we've got that. Okay, so now when we've already got that, we can install our first package with command npm install node minus sas and we can add a parameter minus minus save because this package will be added to our dependencies with that. You will see. Let's use enter button. Wait a second. Okay, and when it's done, you can see that we've got two new files. The package log, it is our JSON file with packages that we have installed and the node modules folder where we've got all these packages that we need. So now we can add our index.html file. In this file, we as always need this head and doc type you don't need to write that. I will copy that quickly and in the description I will give you that code so you can copy that because we, I don't want to waste your time on writing this because every page have that. So as you can see the doc type, the language of this page, the standard meta tags and let's close that with this head parameter. Also write this body and at the end just html tag format this document with the right click of the mouse and we've got that now at this moment we can also add this uh, title for this page to make it look nice guitar world and everything is clear so when you got that we can jump to the next part with uh, converting the SAS file to a complete CSS package, to a complete CSS file to the browser. So let's add the folder called SAS. In this folder, we'll have our mine.scss file. You'll think, why SCSS? Because, but it can have this SAS extension. It's SCSS because it is not, not SAS, it's SASI CSS. There were, mm, before that, were exact SAS with, which doesn't have these brackets and so on. And uh, developers found it not so useful. So they created this SCSS that uses brackets and cool, cool features from SAS. And now we've got that. And also we will have our second folder called CSS with an output file file called style.css. Uh, we have missed one thing in our HTML file. We need to link this uh, style sheet with a link attribute style sheet and with the href to our CSS folder slash style CSS and everything is good now. And we can try if it's working. We can, for example, create a variable called color red. This is how we can create variables in SAS. First, we need to add that dollar sign at the beginning and then the name of the variable and give her the value for example red and now we can give to this body parameter a background color for color red so when we write our script for compilation here this value will be replaced in this place so we'll have background color red but first of all we need to write our comp compilation scripts to make it to make it run so here in our package.json file we've got a special section called scripts here is the default first script 
that has been automatically created, but we don't need it, we'll have our own. The first one, let's call it SAS, and the comment of the script will be note SAS. Now, the input file, which is from the SAS folder, the main that .scss, and the output file from the CSS folder, the style dot css so basically it will take this file compile it and put it out in this style.css file we can also run this whole command in our terminal but better is to write a special script called sas for example and we will just type npm run sas we don't need to type npm run node sas and all 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 these comments and the last thing that we need to have here is the minus W for watching the file for changes. So every time the mine.scs file has changed, we will update also this style.css. And the second script that we will have is this server. It will be called as you want, but I call it like that to make it clear. And it will be a script for a, for a live server because we don't want to save this file and refresh this page we'll have to we'll have a special script for re refreshing our page so we see quicklier these results and also we need to specify the browser here this default browser is equal to google chrome because we will be using some uh, newest CSS features. So I will also recommend you using Google Chrome because this is the newest browser and it also have the newest features. So there will be no problem with, with compilation, with, with anything like that. And now we also need one package to run, to run or two scripts at the same time. This package is called npm run all so let's quickly install it npm install npm run dash all let's wait a second okay and as we've got that we can create the last command it will be called start we'll only use this command in our terminal window we will type npm run start and this command we'll use our last installed package npm run all in type of parallel and it will use our two comments first of all the server and also our sas command to run at the same time we can save that oh we've got a small error but what we have here Oh, we've already updated the version of this as. Yeah, use the transit overwritten and now everything is okay. You probably wouldn't have that error because I have modified here something before. And we can now run npm run start and see what we've got here. And our page has started. We see it, but we don't see the red background of this page so what we have missing here as you can see the style css haven't been compiled because we also need to save these changes to make it work as you can see sometimes we will have an error here i haven't figured out what will come from but after saving few times everything will be good and you can see the red page of the screen i will take that off because <laughs> it doesn't look so good so now we have everything set up to work and to start fully our project so thanks for watching and see you in the next part of this course